Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial and in this Tableau tutorial I want to give you one use case that is related to the level of detail calculation that I explained to you yesterday. So if you have not watched that video where I have explained about what level of detail is with the help of a uh, a school example as to uh, you know we all have studied in the school so with that how we can really understand the level of detail and then the three different ways in which you can actually use the level of detail the three keywords which Tableau provides the include exclude and fixed and with their uh, small use cases over there as to how to see the impact. So if you have not already watched that video, uh, look, uh, you know, the, the link is present in the description. So go ahead and uh, look for that information uh, because that's important uh, for this video that you have the basics of the level of detail calculation. Now, what I am today producing or today giving you is basically one example that is related to the cohort analysis and let me show you that example. So here is the example that is related to the cohort analysis which basically is about uh, or mostly used in many applications like customer analytics application to understand the retention of the customer. Now this can be used for the to understand the retention of the customer or retention of the employee or retention of a customer on your website wherever you want to see uh, the retention that's where you will be able to use this. So first of all what's going on here and how to interpret this. So what's basically going on here is that we are saying that at the start of 2018 you have 595 customer who ordered it but in 2019 only 437 came back that means more than 150 customers basically got reduced or somewhere around that I, i'm not doing the math probably right but yeah you, you got the idea that four third out of 595 437 customer came back in 2019 but in 2020 the count increased and now you have 485 customer that means uh, one, 110 customers still not there and in 2021 you have the 517 customer of these uh, 595 customer similarly when it comes to 2019 the count is starting over here that 136 new customer you acquired over there out of that you the the customer did the repeat order in 2020 and in 2021 uh, 120 customer basically came back and so on and so forth. So how you can really produce this analysis with the help of LOD? Well, obviously LOD you need to use and that's why I'm showing you this use case. So what do you need to do to produce this is uh, let me come back to the sheet and uh, show you right from the start as to how to really understand this. So over here, if I take the, let's say the customer name, right? And uh, the order date, right? And let me put the exact date over there. It will going to convert into, a, let me put it as a discrete. Okay. So now if you see this customer Aaron, the, the customer basically joined on 18 Fab. 2018 did uh, another order on the 7th March 2018 and then came back in 2020 right so that's why you see uh, in in some cases that customer who actually ordered it in 2018 did not come back in 2019 but came back in 2020 right so what we want to identify over here is uh, when the customer has first made their order right and then uh, when are they coming back so first thing first is we need to identify what is what is the minimum that is that is there and based on the count of uh, unique customer we will be putting it in their respective year when we will be aggregating it Okay, so over here, what we need to do is we need to uh, create a calculated field uh, for producing the, uh, for producing the, uh, what do you call your LOD. So customer first 
purchase we will open the um, we will open the customer first uh, the LOD calculation and we will start with fixed and we will say we have to do it at a customer name level so we will say customer name right and then we will going to say is the what do we want is basically the minimum because I'm showing here in the sheet one as year you can show it by month you can show it by quarter but let me start with the year which is pretty easy as it is easy to understand and we'll say order date right so what is the minimum order date and uh, click apply and okay and once we bring it over here and change it to discrete what you get is basically the 2018 is when when the customer first ordered and that way we can go back and uh, create a cohort based on that okay so over here let me just remove everything and then come back with the we have the customer first purchase let me convert it into a dimension so here is the customer first purchase 2018 2019 20 and 21 and then we have the order date here which is a year order date by default it will going to pick it up and then it basically shows the the information for example 2018 will start here at 2018 2019 will start at 2019 because uh, the customer who whom we have acquired in 2019 will obviously start ordering in the 2019 and so on and so forth for the rest of the customer now let me bring the customer name on the text as soon as i bring the customer name on text uh, apparently what it gives gives is the name of the customer but that's not what we want we want the distinct count so what we get is a distinct count as 595 customer we acquired in 2018 out of that only the 437 customer is something what we are getting it over here and 485 in 2020 517 so how you can create this particular view which i have created which looks uh, much more interesting to show it in your dashboard well pretty easy what you need to do is first you need to go in into the entire view and then over here if you see these are nothing but the blocks so what i'll do is put the count of customer over here and now we get the similar metric the only thing is bringing the numbers here so you can check this label label is small so first thing is put the alignment into the center then change this to maybe 15 and tab view medium is good yeah so that looks fine now uh, the only another formatting i've done is the year so that year is present uh, but it is not uh, taking your attention of the eye so for that reason you can i just what i did is simply went into this uh look at the font and made it a little bit more light no not this one Control c um over here right click format and here font is this and i made it a little bit big like 11 right similarly in case of this you can go ahead and make sure the font is 11 and it is light gray that way you have the similar analysis so that's basically uh, the good thing is about this analysis that not just it gives you the starting count but it gives you the repeat customer in the respective years so that's mainly i wanted to show you the first level of detail calculation which we created it over here using the fixed now if you have your own database or if you have uh, if you are working in your company with the uh, similar type of work what i really uh, encourage you is look at the for example um, look at the type of uh, uh, complaints let's say you have a complaints database or you have any other database where uh, such sort of frequency is present time based frequency is present and develop this idea of cohort analysis and produce it let me know how it uh, how it will how it goes and um, i will be very happy to know what your output was uh, what 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 output you would 
going to create with your own data set. But that's about it uh, for this use case. I will be sharing more use case in coming days and uh, step by step, I believe we will going to build a lot of knowledge around uh, uh, level of detail. Let me know if there is any case that you want me to cover and I'll be happy to do that. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.